Hello, this is Professor Nesheba, and I'm here to help you out with the second phase, the analysis phase of your uh, GCM run. And uh, hopefully what you're looking at uh, here is that uh, the GCM uh, run completed successfully. And uh, so then we can go back to the regular uh, GCM file here. And um, so what I'm looking at over here is the run that we just completed, which uh, you probably have to click on again. Uh, this blue, by the way, says that it's got the data on it. And let's just make sure that that's right. Yep, this is the based on sample control, year of 2017. Um, everything's fine on that. So now that we have this highlighted, uh, we can go to this thing called uh, Analyze Output uh, icon. So I'm going to click on that. Now, uh, the first window that comes up here is uh, we kind of have to start uh, on the left and we'll work our way to the right. Um, there was only one year, if we had done multiple years, various years uh, would have shown up here. But um, that one year is what we want. So I need to say I, I'd like the averages for that for that year. And uh, it's going to it's going to do that. And uh, and as soon as it comes back, uh, it's going to tell us that it's done. So now um, this appears here, and uh, we've got the averages for 2017. Uh, what we need to do next is go over to this window here and say uh, what sort of things do um, do we want to look at. I think I need to click on this. And um, uh, you could get all of them if you want, but um, some of the things that uh, you might be interested in are snow and ice coverage, um, total cloud cover, and um, and the surface air temperature. So I'm going to click those three. Uh, these uh, these are all, um, we can just leave those as, as the default comes out. But we do need to say I want to extract the data. So uh, I pressed on that button, and now it's going through that whole year, and it's extracted the data. And now this item up here appears. And uh, I think you can press this view button, but uh, on my machine, I can just double click on that. Now, what's going to happen is that it's going to launch uh, Panoply. Uh, but if you're on a PC, it will launch something called Ava, and it will look a little bit different. But uh, here we are in, in, uh, in uh, the viewing software. And you can see that the three things that I asked for, snow and ice coverage, surface air temperature, and total cloud coverage, has come here, come up here. So uh, once you click on this, then you have the option of, of creating a plot, which I can do, or you can double click. And, uh, and here we are. Here is the surface air temperature, according to that GCM, uh, for the year of 2017. And um, there's uh, lots of things that we can look at here. And let me just take you through a few of them. So one of them is that uh, you can see that it's extracted the month of January. And you can see that in January, the Arctic is cold, and the Antarctic is not as cold. That's because it's summer in the, in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, if I wanted to look um, in, uh, in our summer, you can see that that's reversed. And if I want to look at um, the whole average, then what this is telling us is that, on average, the Antarctic is colder than the Arctic, and so on. Um, other things that are quite interesting here that I'm just going to point out right now is that the interpolation is turned on by uh, default, but if you turn that off, what you can see is that these um, these uh, these squares here are telling us uh, what what um, what EdGCM actually used as its its grid. And the thing that I just want to point out is that it's pretty big. So in other words, GCM this GCM treats um, this whole block right here, if you like, uh, as representing uh, that part of Spain and the ocean above it. So it's not a super high resolution, high spatial resolution uh, product. I'm going to turn that interpolate back on. Uh, scale, uh, things that are pretty interesting to uh, work on here is I kind of like to have, when we're talking about temperature, I like to uh, center it on zero degrees, in this case Celsius. So I'm going to do that. And what this means, of course, is that um, uh, everywhere in red is above freezing, which is the mid-latitudes, and everywhere sort of in blue, cooler shades, um, is below freezing. And uh, and uh, let's see what other things we can do here. Um, now, um, there's also different projections, map projections that you can you can look at. That's the equal equal rectangular, and um, let's see if I can get a more interesting one. The uh, airy 
um, shows us the Earth this way. And uh, but I'm going to go back to the equal rectangular, and uh, and so on. And you can label things differently uh, as you wish. Um, if you also want to get what's called a zonal average, what that means is that it will take every um, latitude and an average across longitudes. Then uh, you can uh, you can do that. I think you have to switch to map and then switch back to zonal averages to get that. So this is telling us that the surface air temperature here at minus 90, that's the South Pole, is uh, this temperature and average over all the longitudes. And now we get up to the equator we get up to the North Pole. So this is telling us the North is, on average, a little bit warmer than, uh, than the South Pole. And uh, so that's, um, that's that. And then um, the other things that we can, uh, we can look at is uh, I'm going to go back to, um, I'm going to go back to um, the uh, panoply. And we can say, well, what about total cloud cover? So I just double-clicked on that. Um, and uh, here we have uh, a, a new view. Now, in the case of total cloud cover, which is usually more interesting to look at, is not a color scale, but um, a, a, a scale that um, perhaps we could look at this uh, gray scale. Um, so this is telling us that uh, there's, there's uh, where it's white, then it's more cloud cover. The other thing I want to do here is it's in a percentage, and I want to go from no no cloud to 100% cloud on this scale. And uh, so, as you can see here, the Sahara doesn't have very much cloud cover, neither does the southwest, uh, southeast of the United States, and, and so on. And, uh, and uh, so, uh, the other thing that uh, we can look at, if I can go back to um, here, is we can also look at snow and ice, and uh, snow and ice coverage also um, tells you some some interesting some interesting features uh, so for example in this case I think I want to I want to fit to data and I want to center it on zero um, and maybe invert the colors here so that um, or maybe not so um, that is the introduction to the analysis